Hello everyone, today I'm making a video about refined storage and storage drawers and I'll be showing you how to use them individually and use them together. To get started, here's my setup for my survival world which use these drawer controllers to connect all these drawers and the refined storage cables and external connectors which I will be explaining shortly. So as I said previously, I'm using these drawer controllers to connect all of them up which has a range of between 15 to 25 blocks or drawers which you need to make sure is connected by using this drawer key so you simply right click on this I don't really want to do it here in case there's something uh, that is at zero but I will use it here so if you right click there should be a slot that shows um, which means that the drawer is now locked and will not be able to change the item. So even if your uh, drawer gets fully emptied up to zero, there will still be that item. So that you can always put the item back and uh, restock without worrying about the item going into a different drawer. Using the quantify key, you can check what is remaining inside of the drawers. So you can see how many ores I have left. Now I'll explain how to use the refined storage mod. You need to use a controller which needs power and which needs these pipes connected to the network. Um, this is basically the brains of the entire network. The crafting grid or well any kind of grid allows you to see what is inside of the entire network and allows you to grab and in this case craft with anything. For example if I want Let's say a ladder, I click this, move items, and then it will do this, and if I don't want to, I select it all, shift click, goes right back in. And this disk drive, you need to put disks in, which you don't really need. When you're making an actual storage like this, where you have chests and drawers, but it is still a nice thing for if somehow your chests and drawers get filled up, then you will have some backup storage to uh, store that stuff in here for the meantime. Now let's talk about the uh, actual grids that there are. You have the normal grid which just shows the network and allows you to grab and uh, put items into the network. The crafting grid is what I just showed you, the same exact thing as the normal grid, but you have a crafting table. The pattern grid allows you to automate crafting, so you can, uh, if you have an automated farm and you want to turn the items into something else that you can craft with a normal crafting table then you can do that with this and the fluid grid is pretty self-explanatory it simply just allows you to have fluids into the grid and allows you to craft with these fluids so now to display um, how you can store items inside of other chests and still access them to this you just take let's say something that we do not have in the network right here you put that well you go to the grid look for a slice of apple and there you go and same goes uh, the other way around if you set it up right where it has no other place to go you go here you go find it bam easy very nice now to connect these two different systems or mods wait let me uh, do this to connect them, you, as you saw there, you need cables connected to every single chest or other storage device uh, and a external connector or external storage connector um, to everything. In the case of drawers, you need to connect them only to the drawer controller and that should, if you hooked it up right, where you have the drawer controller connected using oak trims to your oak drawers. It only needs one oak trim uh, to connect to the entire drawer storage as long as there's no holes anywhere. So if um, I cut it off in the middle here, this would not work for this side. And here I have a different oak drawer con or a different drawer controller where it is not connected with a trim at all, which means that this only controls this wall up until this, uh, this point. You also want to make sure that the cables are connected somewhat like this. The external storage you can put on any side, um, which I will show you right now. I can put it here, I can put it anywhere. 
as long as the cables are also connected then this will work. To summarize, make sure you connect the controller with the power and with the cables with to the entire network, um, aka anything storage, and those cables need to connect to external storage. And you also connect to our controllers just using the same exact thing, cable connecting to external storage. The way you connect a drawer controller is you make sure it is either directly connected which would be if I put this drawer controller in the place of this oak trim so that would be a direct connection but you can also do it over longer distances as long as it is within that 15 to 25 block range so you have um, these slots that is again the way you can check if these are actually connected so right click to check and that is that these disk drives are not necessary but are useful if you do not have any extra storage or if you do not have much extra storage beyond your drawers because it'll be a pain to get every single item in every single drawer but um, it could be worth it it will automatically sort everything into the drawers if you put it right into the crafting grid well, let's say I take out all of this wood now it has nothing left I put it right back here I take everything dump it right in I go back and as you can see it is back that is the same for every single thing hooking up multiple drawer controllers to the network is not a problem as long as they are not connected to each other physically um, so not the same wall of drawers they need to be separated and since that's basically everything i can tell you i hope you enjoyed i hope you learned something i hope that this video helped you along and if you want to know anything more about any other mods that is in the valhelsia pack um, or my own custom version of the valhelsia pack which you can check out in the description and download for yourself then you can go right ahead and ask me. So uh, drop a like if you found it helpful. Drop a dislike if you didn't. And I'll see you guys next time.